Hi, everybody. Good morning. Thank you so much for coming this morning. We're so excited to have you here and to have our guest today, Charlotte Kate Fox and Ken Sakurai. Um, what we're going to do first is have a clip of the uh, drama Masson for your pleasure. And then um, uh, Charlotte Kate Fox and Sakurai san will come in after it's finished, okay? So, are you ready to roll? Dozo, onegai tashimasu. Hiroshima o tabidatta, Masan to Eri. Futare no yume, dream. Nihon hatsu no whisky zukuri ni challenge suru tane. Hakindo no machi, Osaka city e tarudizuku. But, omoi mo yoronai trouble ga, tsugi tsugi to futari ni osoe kakaru. Honto ni whisky o tsukuru koto ga dekiru no ka? Ganbare Masan, ganbare Eri. Futari no love wa yume o come true dekiru no ka? やってみなれ。それが日本の本物じゃか。筒に新一。亀山。大変よ。西川清志。この家の向こうに入ってもらえますから。夏木陽子。お久しぶりです。うちの会社を辞めてください。相棒先。君は誰や。中村和夫。
Okay, so just really, really quickly, um, in this 100-year-old love story, Charlotte plays the role of Ellie, a fictional version of the real-life Rita Cowan from Scotland. And Rita is still toasted by some of the, as the Scottish mother of Japanese whiskey industry. So she married chemistry wizard Masataka Kamiyama, and Masan is the nickname she gave her husband. Together through trials, tribulations, and a very unique international marriage, they created the first whiskey dis distillery in Japan, now known as the Nika Whiskey Distilling Company. So, Charlotte, here's the spotlight on Charlotte, is an American from New Mexico, but interestingly, probably many of you know, her grandmother is from Scotland. She was selected for the role from more than 500 applicants from Japan and overseas. So I think Charlotte has seen her fair share of trials, tribulations, and triumphs uh, with the Japanese language and many other challenges. So let's hear what she and Sakurai-san have to say about their experience with this remarkable drama. Please give them a warm welcome. So first we're going to have Sakurai um, share, give a few words. Sakurai-san. <laughs> Oh, oh. <laughs> Thank you very much. あ、すいません。英語で話せません。日本語で話すことをお許しください。え、あの、本日は本当にこうした光栄な場にえ、お招きをいただきましてありがとうございます。え、連続テレビ小説というのはえ、もう日本ではアサドラとして親しまれる
whiskey distilling process of 100 years ago, or nearly 100 years ago. And uh, that, again, is a great challenge. And I thought it was too big a challenge for the morning cereal program. Uh, however, it was, again, a fascinating tale. So last March, um, I approached my superior with this project, um, expecting him to immediately turn it down. However, to my great surprise, he said, it's a wonderful idea. Let's try to realize it. Um, I was extremely surprised. And even today, I'm grateful for this very heroic decision on his part. Uh, eventually, the proposal was presented throughout NHK, and it was eventually given the green light. And when uh, we received the go sign, um, my boss said to me, even the tradition-laden, historic, uh, history-laden uh, Asadramas uh, need to take a chance now and then. In other words, we have to take on a tremendous challenge. あの、皆さん多分シャーロットさんのお話を聞きたいんですけど、もうしばらく私のお話にお付き合いください。大丈夫でしょうか。アイパーザイズフォーゲティングスピークアイノーユーオーワントゥヒアシャーロットさん、
story becomes even more doubly uh, appealing because we see how Charlotte-san learns the language of Japan, learns the customs of Japan. We see how she struggles a bit with being apart from her homeland, from her family. And we see that her uh, development and growth as an actress is synchronous, is simultaneous with the uh, heroine's growth and development. Um, this is a tremendously appealing story uh, from a personal, individual point of view, and I think our audiences are truly responding to it. あのまだまだ今撮影は続いてますけども本当にこのドラマが今実現できていることには大変なこう幸運といいますか私たちはとても月に恵まれているなと、えー、そんな運なしではここまで至らなかったと感じていますでもその中でもやはりシャーロスさんに出会えたっていうことがもう宝くじの一等当選に近い。それぐらいのラッキーだと今私たちは実感してこのドラマの本当に力になっていただいてますあの私はこ,うこのドラマを作るという仕事でやっぱり心がけている,心がけていることはですねあのそのドラマに関わっていただく方々そのドラマに巻き込むスタッフキャストにとってその作品に参加したことがですねその一人一人にとって次の何らかのステップになる何らかの未来を見つけられるっていうそんな仕事を、えー、でとしてちゃんとやり遂げなければいけないということを肝に銘じてるんですけどもまだまだ道は途上ですからどこまで私も今それが果たせてるか分かりませんけれども本当にこのドラマがこれからのシャーロットさんにとって大きな未来を切り開く大きなきっかけになってくることを私は祈っております。本日はありがとうございます。Of course, we are only part way through the、um, broadcast and filming、uh, process. However,、um, I've talked about all of the different、um, successes that we've had so far. However, I think all of that is due to the tremendously good fortune that we've been blessed with. And of all the good fortune、uh, that I've been, we've been blessed with, I think our meeting Charlotte San was the greatest of all.、Um, I think our being able to encounter and come together with Charlotte San is like winning the first prize in the Takarakuji lottery.、Uh, that is how miraculous an event I believe、um, it was.、Uh, she has a tremendous strength、uh, that,、uh, and Supporting this show.、Um, on Uh, to change topics for a moment,、um, I always, when I start a project, I try to think about all of the cast and all of the staff members. And I, it is my great and, and、uh, deep hope that everyone who participates in this project, everyone who participates in the telling of the tale that I am trying to tell,、uh, will eventually find that their participation in the project will lead to a better future for them,、uh, a better path for them.、Um, of, of course, as I said earlier, we're only partway through the process. I don't know how successful、uh, I will be in realizing this hope, but I do. From the bottom of my heart, hope that this project will serve、um, as a springboard for a tremendous and bright future for Charlotte San, for her great、um, uh, future career as an actress. Thank you for, for your kind attention. Thank you. Okay, Charlotte. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if my parents could see me right now, they would be so proud. <laughs>、um, As I was driving here today in the taxi, I looked out the window and there was the Imperial, Imperial Palace. And I thought, how did I get here? <laughs>、um, there are still moments in this journey where I just have to sit back and think, I can't believe I'm doing this. I'm still here. This is still happening. And, and the same feeling as I walked through the, the hallway today, and I, and I saw all of these great speakers that have come before me. And I really cannot describe to you what an honor it is to be sitting here today in front of you,、um, and how humbling it is. And just, I, I'm so grateful from the bottom of my heart. Thank you very, very much. Thank you.、Um, do we have to translate in between?、Uh, You know, I, I saw the, the audition、uh, posting almost, gee, almost more than a year ago. And I remember reading it, and it said, you know,、uh, it, it didn't have the name of the show, it didn't have the Asadora attached to it yet. But it was a project、uh, that spanned the life of a woman,、um, and it was a period piece, meaning that, you know, 20s, 30s, 40s. 
uh, and onto the 50s, and it was shot in Japan. And I read it, and I thought, well, that sounds great. I'm never going to get it. You know, I'm never going to, I'm never going to land something like that. Uh, and uh, you know, but I still, I still applied, um, and then I didn't hear anything for a very long time. And you know, as an actor, especially in the states, when you're not working, you have to um, make ends meet. So I was, I was waiting tables and babysitting. Um, <laughs> doing just odd jobs, anything to sort of keep me afloat, uh, and doing theater. And then about two days before Christmas last year, I got an email asking me if I would come to Japan for a screen test. <laughs> and I had forgotten, you know, I, I had let it go. I said, all right. But here it was, this email. And I, I, it, it really wasn't real. I, I, I sort of thought... It, it must be a joke, but <laughs> but uh, I, I ran. I remember I was at my parents' house and I I ran into my mom's bedroom. She was still sleeping, and you know, like a three-year-old, I jumped on the bed and I said, "I think I'm going to Japan. Will you read this and tell me if I'm going to Japan?" And she read the email and she said, "I think you are." Uh, so I think it was only ten days later, I uh, or something like that. I I flew to Japan for the first time in my life. And I was terrified. <laughs> I was just terrified. And you know, now we, we shoot in the studio every day, and, and I'm used to it. But but then it was you know I didn't speak a lick of Japanese, um, and uh, I remember walking into the studio by myself, and of course all the faces now are very familiar. And uh, I remember seeing uh, Sakurai-san there, his smiling face. I thought, who is this guy? <laughs> uh, and I, I, you know, I, I auditioned, and I, I forgot all the words, and I was shaking terribly in my legs and my hands. But uh, I didn't stop acting, and uh, I just kept going with English and sounds and strange <laughs> facial movements, anything that could keep me going until they said cut. And then again, I remember leaving and seeing Sakurai-san's face. And, and one other thing I really remember, they, they set out before me all of the scripts for the 150 episodes on a piano. And I think it was to scare people. Really, I think, you know, they showed it to people and they said, this is what we're doing. It's very hard. And I remember looking at it and said, well, that looks exciting. Of course, now I, I understand what they meant by hard. <laughs> uh, this, this whole process has been continuously the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. I, I can't sugarcoat it, coat it. I, can't, I can't lie about it. Every day, every day, um, especially in the beginning, every day was the hardest day of my life. It, I, I, I don't know how to describe it to people. Um, I guess imagine that, that you have to get up and, and do a speech like I'm doing today, but you wake up in the morning and you find that you've forgotten your language. And yet you still have to get up and make the speech. And so you quickly try and memorize some sounds. <laughs> That's sort of what it was like in the beginning. Now, of course, I'm, I have a better understanding of the language, and I hope one day to become fluent in it. Um, you know, I, I've dedicated this much of my life to learning Japanese, so I might as well do it right. Um, so, but at the, at the same time, it has been the most rewarding thing I have ever done. Um, now, I'm, uh, I'm a much stronger woman uh, I'm a much stronger actress. Uh, I'm a much stronger businessman, businesswoman. Uh, and, and really, I, I have Japan to thank for that. Uh, Japan has given me everything. And, and, and how lucky I am that, that Sakurai-san saw something special and that he was brave enough to take this risk. I mean, really. For, for NHK to take this on, it was a huge undertaking. And, and he really had to, he really had to um, 
impress upon them that I, I was a good choice and, and that I wouldn't run away. <laughs> I'm surprised they didn't take my passport, actually. Um, <laughs> so so I, I'm very lucky that, that, that he believed in me enough um, to, to impress upon NHK that I would be a good choice. And, and now I, I'm just amazed at what we're doing. It's really incredible that we're able to make this, this piece of art um, <laughs> in, in the most unlikely and the most impossible circumstances. Um, and uh, every day I'm amazed. I, I watch the monitor and I go, how did we make that come alive? How did, how did we understand each other in this scene? Uh, but we did. And, and it really wasn't until a couple days ago that I, that I sort of knew what a big impact the show was having on people. We had an uh, event at, at uh, BK, Osaka, and we had over 1,500 people come to see us speak. And I remember I just walked on stage and my, you know, my hands were shaking and my legs, and I was so overwhelmed by, um, by everyone's kindness and, and by how much joy they seemed to derive from the show. And it was really then that I, underst uh, that I understood what the Asadora is and what it means to people. And I really understood uh, the duty that I have um, to the Japanese people and to my castmates. And uh, from now on, I, I really hope that I can, I can do it right by, by everyone here and, and by Japan. And... これからももっと頑張ります。ありがとうございます。本当にありがとうございます。Okay, thank you, Charlotte. <laughs> okay, so let's open the floor to a question Q&A, and the press gets first dibs. So please, Louise, go ahead. Okay, go ahead, um, stand up, come to the mic. Yep, uh-huh. And just... <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> This is actually my first time here, too. <laughs> um, my name is Louise George Kitaka. I'm a freelance writer. And um, like Ellie, I'm also a foreign wife. Um, living in Japan, I met my husband pretty young and kind of just fell into it and stayed. Um, my question is, um, like Ellie, 100 years ago, there were a lot of women doing the same thing in Japan, married to their Japanese husbands. Things have changed a little bit, but many of the challenges that Ellie has faced are still very pertinent today. Initial uh, family, uh, you know, the family not always very happy to have a foreign woman in the family. Um, language barriers, of course, cultural things, finding your place in society where there is often a set way of doing things and being able to be true to yourself but fit in at the same time. Um, I wondered if you'd had an opportunity to meet any um, foreign wives, uh, you know, women like me, um, while you've been in Japan. And if you have, um, how has that um, affected you? What things did you talk about? Has it um, affected maybe the way you think about Ellie and portray her? And if you haven't had that opportunity yet, um, what things would you like to ask such women living in Japan today? We actually have a Foreign Wives Association. There's over um, 450 of us in Japan. Um, and that, that's not the whole, the whole number, obviously, but we have these women in this group who support each other, the um, Association of Foreign Wives of Japanese, which has been going since, uh, I think, 69. So it's pretty well organized. Mm -hmm. But even so, we need that support, you know, even though we love our husbands and love Japan and have families, it's great to be able to speak to other women. So I just wondered, have you had that opportunity? And if not, um, would you like that opportunity? And how, how, what things would you ask such women? I, I, I've met... Louise, thank oh. you. You can have a seat. Yeah, thank you very much. Um, I, I, I've met a few foreign wives. Um, you know... <laughs> We'll talk about simple things. Uh, I, I remember with one woman, we, we spoke about the, the uh, mother-in-law issue, uh, of course, because that's very you know, prevalent on Masan, with Pinko-san. Um, so we, we talked about that. Uh, another, another thing that I, I'm really interested in is just um, the idea of uh, feminism and, and and when a foreign wife comes to Japan, how either she has to sort of bend her ideals, <laughs> you know, you're <laughs> shaking your head, um, and how, how 
we can, or, or you know, um, couples like that can, can make it work around, around sort of Western idea of, of feminism. Um, because there is feminism in, in Japan, of course, but not what we're used to. And so I think that that is, that is something that I'm interested in. Um, and of course, some of the women that I've, I've spoke to have been interested in that as well. Um, but I would love to meet many foreign wives <laughs> in one room. I would love to talk about anything, of course. Love to meet you. Yeah. yeah. Maybe we can arrange that somehow. That. Yeah. Thank you. OK. Um, questions? Any more questions from the press? This is your chance. Yes, please, go ahead. Please um, introduce yourself and the media that you are affiliated with. So my name is actually Eddie. Huh? Yes. <laughs> um, so I'm really excited to meet you because ever since the show started, everyone's been telling me when I meet <laughs> Japanese people, oh, you're like the morning show. And I'm like, yes, I'm like the morning show. Um, but I wanted to ask you what the most, I want to ask you two things. Mm -hmm. First is, what was the most surprising thing to you about moving to Japan? What surprised you about Japan? And the second thing is, um, I know you're from America. Mm -hmm. And if you go back to America, are you going to try and do anything to raise awareness about Japan and America? Or, you know, I know, or to teach, you know, American people more about Japanese culture like whiskey? Mm. Let's see. You know, a lot of people ask me that, what, what most surprised me. And, and now that I've been here for seven months, I can't recall um, because every th I, I feel like I've been here you know, forever. <laughs> this is sort of my home now. Um, Probably, I mean, the, the, the propriety um, and, and formality of introductions, um, business cards, bowing, all of that, that was very new to me. Uh, but now, of course, it's everyday life. And, it, and, and, and other little things, like, I know this is silly, but I remember being surprised by it, that women in Tokyo dress just immaculately, just beautifully. And, and they wear these heels that are about <laughs> this high. And then they ride bicycles. <laughs> I don't know how they do it. Um, so little things like that. Um, as, for, as for returning to the US, you know, I, I don't really have any plans right now. I, I'm sort of a believer in, you know, you follow the, you follow the, the river of your life. And I don't, I don't know what will happen. I mean, Japan will always be a part of my life. Um, be, because like I said, it, it has given me everything. Um, so, you know, I don't even know if I'll leave. <laughs> um, uh, of course, uh, you know, to go see my family and, and such. Um, but yeah, it will always, always be a part of my life. So whenever I can talk about it, I will. Thank you. All right, more questions. Yes, please, go ahead. So your name and your media affiliation, please. Yes, my name is Terry Nee. Um, I'm with I'm the editor of II Magazine. I'm also a foreign wife. And uh, my question also has uh, to do with marriage, married life. I find that Ellie has a very unique and special approach to her <laughs> married life. And um, even though the era is different, is there anything that we can learn from her as foreign wives? Um, or anything that, any hints that you have noticed of her approach to her husband that can be of reference to you uh, in your own marriage. Um, and related to that, um, I understand you're married, so um, I'm wondering how you explain this crazy experience to your husband when you talk or when you Skype to each other. Hi. Thank you. You know, Ellie is very patient. <laughs> She's uh, probably the most patient person on earth, uh, especially this week if you're watching. Um, so for me, I think, uh, I think not even just, just for wives, but for married couples in general, I think what the show brings is, is in a simple sense, to, to never give up. I mean, I think that that kind of mentality is sadly is really lost today um of course you know divorces are so easy and um 
the second there's a misunderstanding or uh, a difference in, in values or, or morals, everybody just signs the papers and, and gets divorced um, and walks away. And I think what's really lovely about uh, Ellie is that that's simply not an option. Uh, and, and like I said, I think it's lost today. So if people can, if people can watch the show and, and take a little bit away to, to not give up and to not walk away and to be patient and, and to continue loving, then, then I think that the show has, has done its job. Uh, and, and in terms of how I explain everything, you know, I can explain the whole day long. But until you're here, you don't really understand it. You know, I can send uh, videos of the set and, and, you know, little clips of the show. And my parents actually, uh, they, they got NHK on satellite, so they're able to watch the show. Uh, so they, they understand it. They text me all the time, who is this guy? You know, <laughs> what's he doing? Um, but really, I, one of the, the lovely things about this whole experience is that it's my own and that nobody can ever change it or take it away from me and uh, or I, I can't explain it away it's it's really every day my own lovely experience including today sitting in in front of all of you okay thank you all right more questions from the press yes jeff please Uh, my name's Jeff Tudor. I'm a freelancer. I'm also a foreign husband. <laughs> uh, I'd like to address my questions to, uh, not to your charming self, Charlotte, but to, to um, your director. And I'd like to ask him, um, NHK's Asadora are hugely popular. And nowadays, they're really part of an, an, integral, they're an integral part of popular Japanese culture, and they command enormous audiences. Um, everybody knows f from watching the first episodes of uh, the current Asadora, Masan, that the productions are lavish and, immense, and in painstakingly authentic. They must also be very expensive. Can you give us an idea of the budget for Masan? <laughs> uh, may I ask a, a subsidiary question? Um, there's been some criticism that I've, I've heard that, that this story is, that behind this story, this love story, is the presence of a commercial enterprise, Nico Whiskey. <laughs> Doesn't that compromise the status of NHK as a public broadcaster. Thank you. <笑>えっと、今お勧めいただいたことですが、え、予算についてはあの、正確な数字はここで明言するのは避けさせていただきますが、え、確かにあの、え、今回のドラマはいつものアサドラよりも確実にお金がかかる。じゃ、お金をかけずにやるにはどうすればいいかというとですね、一度セットを立てたらそのセットを取り切ると。これどういうことかというと、より一層俳優が厳しい条件が突きつけられるということなんですね。あの、え、大阪の住吉酒造のセ
、えー、そしてもう一つの質問は、えー私はそのあ先にそこまでをちょっと一度はい。I'm sorry. In regard to the budget, I'm not at liberty to actually discuss monetary figures here. However, as you've pointed out, certainly this Asa drama series is costing a great deal more than previous Asa dramas. So the great challenge for us is how to keep costs down as much as possible. And the way that we are able to do this is to make efficient use of all the sets as much as possible. That is very easy to say, but it's actually a tremendous challenge, a tremendous burden on the actors. What I mean by this is that, for example,、uh, we had the、uh, Sumiyoshi、um, alcohol store, excuse me, the uh, distiller uh, brewery store in Osaka, and、uh, we had to use that set、uh, as much as possible. We only wanted to build it once and、uh, shoot all of the possible scenes in that、uh, location. So, three weeks we had the setup and we did all the scenes there. That was、um, less of a problem than what we did in Hiroshima. We had to build the Hiroshima set twice, uh, and uh, for one、um, The second time that we built it, we wanted to shoot all of the remaining scenes、uh, in that set. And so we took three months in September and we shot all the stories between week six and week six, 15、uh, for the drama. What that means, however, is that、um, in chronological time, that covers 10 years of the characters' lives. It means that during the intervening years, many, many things have happened. The characters have developed and changed and evolved. And The actors have to do that all in just a space of three weeks of shooting. That's a tremendous challenge, a tremendous burden. And yet,、um, Charlotte Sun and her cast members overcame this obstacle beautifully. So, excuse me, the interpreter has also forgotten the second question. Nikka Whiskey. 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 えー、本当にこの2大企業がこのドラマのスポンサーになってくれればどれだけプロダクションが楽かと思いますが、えー、そういうことは一切ありませんが、あのーえー、もう今歴史だと思うんですね、あのー、ウイスキーの、えーまあ、今回ドラマの一つのモチーフとしてウイスキーというものを取り上げてるんですけどもやっぱりもう今から80年90年前の時代に、えーまあ、日本のものづくりというものの一つのモチーフとして私たちは選ばせていただきましたけどもやっぱり今の時代あのどこかちょっと時代が、えー、閉塞感がありますあの、えー、なんか日本人が元気がない、えー、僕も子供を持つ親ですけどもなんか未来に対してこうなんか明るい。兆しと言いますか、えー、まだ僕の青春時代は大人になることが楽しみだった時代でしたでもどっか今世の中が、えー、ちょっと未来に対してこう明るいものを見つけにくいでも日本人はかつて、えー、自動車であり、えー、テ,クニテ,クテクノロジーであり、まあ、いろんなところにこうあの時代を切り開いたエネルギーっていうのがあったそのモチーフとして今回。えー、ウイスキーというジャパニーズウイスキーという歴史のを背景をいただきながら、えー、その中でこう、えー、夫婦のドラマを描くということを描、えー、選びました、えー、結果としてジャパニーズウイスキーが世界中で売れていただけるとそれは素敵なことですけれども以上です。はい<笑> So, yes,、um, I love Nikka whiskey,、um, I love Suntory whiskey as well.、Uh, however, um If、uh, we were a private broadcaster and we could have had these two enormous、uh, corporations be our sponsors, then our work would be so much easier.、Uh, however,、um, in regard to your question, I believe that.、Uh, The tale、uh, that we are telling now is really part of history. It's not so much、uh, the story of a particular company, but it's part of Japanese history. And it is actually a bigger theme than that. It is a, it is a story of、um, the history of manufacturing、uh, in Japan.、Uh, we've wanted to focus on a period、uh, in Japanese history, 80 or 90 years ago, when manufacturing was truly taking off、uh, in Japan. And we decided to choose one particular theme, and that theme happened to be whiskey. 
Uh, and the reason that we chose this theme originally was because when we look at the modern uh, era now, uh, as many of you know, uh, Japan uh, feels um, rather a lack of hope. It's, it's a very enervated society. Uh, people don't seem to have much vitality or energy. Um, I also have children of my own. And when I look at them and when I look at uh, how they view the future, I don't think that this younger generation feels much hope. There's very little glimmers of hope for the future. That's very different from when I was a youth, because we all used to look uh, forward to growing up and becoming adults and, and realize, uh, realizing our dreams. But now, the younger generations don't seem to be able to have that kind of vitality and hope. But again, when we look back in the past and we see that Japan was able to uh, revive its economy and, and, and grow its economy through manufacturing, whether it was automobiles or other kinds of uh, technological um, fields, uh, we saw that maybe the development of whiskey would, could be one theme that we could focus on to represent uh, the history manufacturing overall and with this as a background we could tell the tale of two specific people a couple that loved each other very very much uh, and if as a result of our efforts uh, Japanese whiskey becomes very popular and sells throughout the globe that would be just an added treat okay thank you all right any more questions from the press okay go ahead please え、ブロゴスの、え、ブロゴスの何と申しますえっと、桜井さんにお聞きしたいんですけれども、えっと、今まあ日本では非常にあの女性の社会進出という話が女性の社会進出という話が出てきておりますで、え、朝ドラはです
シチュエーションというものをこう台本に反映させて作ってきたというようなことは確かにありました。So,、um, in regard to your question, which is about basically、um, women's advancement in society,、um, I don't know if I'm able really to respond、uh, to that、um, idea because it wasn't such a, a tremendous、um, main a part of、uh, the themes that we were exploring.、Um, as we were trying to develop the story,、um, we thought about many, many different things.、Uh, first of all,、uh, Charlotte、uh, comes from abroad. She is a foreigner.、Uh, she comes from Scotland. And、uh, she came to、uh, ancient Japan, Meiji era Japan, Taisho era Japan. And、uh, the things that she saw, the things that she felt, probably were very, very similar to the way we, as modern Japanese, would have reacted to、uh, the Meiji era or the Taisho era. What I mean by this is that、uh, it was probably a time when、uh, men had all the power and、uh, they very much bragged inside the home. And that probably was much more pronounced、um, back then than、uh, today, or even than we depict. Perhaps on, on the show.、Uh, but the way she sees that and the way she responds to that and the, the,、uh, the way she feels about that probably are very, very close to how we as modern people would、uh, react. So there's, there's a great connection there.、Um, I also think that、uh, one of the themes that we wanted to emphasize in the show was that, in spite of the things that she found perhaps distasteful or、um, unpleasant or some things that she really could not、um, accept, she still managed to find good things about Japan.、Uh, these are the things that we would refer to as perhaps the wonderful, traditional,、um, positive aspects of Japan. And by, through her eyes and through her coming to accept them and valuing、uh, these、um, things, we were able to put a spotlight on、uh, these、uh, positive aspects of Japan. That's something that we really wanted to try. Emphasize in the show, and that's a theme that I've been speaking about from the very beginning with the script writer.、Uh, and so, the second part of the question was、uh, were maybe the、uh, viewers、uh, perhaps responding, and are you sometimes able to、um, work in some of the viewer responses in your show? And、uh, the response is that、uh, the shooting schedule and the、um, script writing schedule of the Asa dramas are not so flexible, so we can't immediately respond to、uh, viewers' requests or,、uh, or, or opinions. Perhaps later on in the show, maybe in April or so,、uh, some of Of the uh, viewers' uh, ideas might be reflected. But、um, I would also like to emphasize that during the filming, we learned a great deal from Charlotte's son. For example,、um, I and the scriptwriter discussed many, many things, and we tried to understand how a foreigner might react to things Japanese.、Uh, but we were speaking with、uh, Charlotte's son, seeing that.、Uh, She would be surprised by certain things, that she would be perhaps angry about certain things. All of this helped us、uh, to frame, uh, to create uh, new situations uh, in the script that would be more believable.、Um, so we tried to create、um, ideas、uh, in the show that would very much reflect、uh, what she was thinking. Thank you. Okay, do you want to go ahead, please? Yeah, and just、uh, one question, please. <laughs> 弁護士 .com の山下と申します。ちょっと先ほど話されていた内容とかぶるかもしれないんですけどもシャーロットさんにお聞きしたいと思います、えー、と半年以上日本に住まわれている中でですねあの日本の法律とかですねルールの中でちょっとなんかおか,しかおかしいというか戸惑ったりですねなんか変だなと思ったことがあればなんかエピソードも踏まえて教えていただければと思います。Um, so, I have a question for、um, Charlotte San, and I come from an organization called Lawyers.com. <laughs> and、uh, I, you've been here in Japan for more than six months.、Uh, so, are there laws and rules in Japan that you think is rather strange or that you are kind of puzzled by? <laughs> <laughs> you know,、uh, I haven't really <laughs> lived in Japan. I mean, I have, but I, I've just been、uh, filming every day, so I haven't had time to really brush up on law. Of course, you know, of, of course in, in the US, it's, it's much more lax,、um, uh, especially you know,、um, in terms of, of, of drug laws or simple things like、uh, having tattoos, those kind of things that,、um, you know, Those are different for me, and I,、uh, I, and I absolutely respect them. And, um, um, but in terms of, of big law differences, I haven't had a, a lot of time to brush up on, on that. So. Okay, thank you.、Yeah. Okay, I think we have time for one more question、uh, from the press. Anybody? I, press over there? Go ahead. Yeah. Not really? Oh, please. Yes, yes. Yay. <laughs> 
Scots woman. Scott. Um, a Scot, a foreign wife, um, married and uh, with patience for 33 years. <laughs> and actually, I have a 28-year-old daughter whose name is Ellie. <laughs> oh my God. Um, and I want to talk, somebody mentioned authenticity before. And I have to say, when I first heard about this program, they're bringing an American actress to Japan to play a Scot. So okay, I watched with interest from the beginning. And I have to say, I'm not only amazed, of course we're all amazed at your Japanese, Charlotte, but you've done a great Scots accent. Perhaps it comes from your grandmother. And I'd like to hear um, a little bit about the process of the English, I mean the Scots, um, the Scots bit and the, and the Japanese learning process for you because that's just a huge part of this whole story of you being here doing this story. And if it's possible, just to put one question for Mr. Sakurai, it's about, um, did you film in Scotland at the beginning? And I know in, this, in the, the true story later on, Rita did go back to Scotland. And I'm wondering if you're going to be filming in Scotland or will that be done in Hokkaido, which is kind of similar. <laughs> um, but Charlotte, please tell us about the language side of your experience. Thank you. Sure. Uh, you know, in, in, in school, uh, in grad school, when I was going for my MFA, we did a lot of, uh, uh, a lot of voice work and a lot of dialect work. Uh, so I was able to work um, on RP and Irish and Scottish. Uh, what else did I do? I think I did a French accent. Um, so we used the, the IPA uh, to, to locate certain phonetic sounds and then just replace all the sounds for whatever accent we're using. Uh, originally, we had talked about you know, of course, uh, Ellie is Scottish, so she would be speaking with a S Scott accent while she was speaking Japanese. And that proved impossible. <laughs> Thank you. Um, you know, that, you know, some, some, some of the words I, I say are definitely with an American accent in Japanese. Um, but we, we shoot so fast, <laughs> you know, that, that it, you know, sometimes the Japanese proves more important um, in, in that moment than having the, the precise dialect. But thank you so much. Thank you. It's so nice to meet you. <laughs> and then Sakurai-san, uh, please. Hi. Scotland, I didn't have to go to Scotland to go to Scotland. え、あの、スコットランド風景は実際にえ、スタッフが撮影した映像出てきますが、え、残念ながらえ、エリーとマスさんが歩いていた場所は日本のスコットランド北海道です。え、もしこのシリーズが大ヒットをして、あ、続編
everybody. Thank you so much for coming. That's it for today.